Okay, you want to combine multiple worksheets into one worksheet. The solution I'm going to demonstrate in this video uses a function called VStack, which is available in the more recent versions of Excel. If you don't have VStack, I've created another video that does the same thing, but using Power Query. I'll leave a link in the description of this video to that video. So we have four sheets in our workbook. Each sheet displays transactions for a particular region. And what I want to do is combine all of the data in this front sheet. Now, the first method I'm going to explain requires you to put all of your data in Excel tables. Now, currently I'm in the Midland sheet and I can tell it's in a table because it's got this blue formatting. And I've also given the table a name. So if I go up to this table design tab, you can see it says mid here is the table name. If I go to the north sheet, similar thing, and this is called NOR, north, and for Scotland, it's called SCO. Now for Wales, that isn't currently in a table, so I'm gonna put it in a table. Click somewhere in the data, I go to insert table. Click on OK. And then on the table design tab, I go over to the table name box and I type in a name and then press enter. So what I want to do is combine all of those tables together into one table. So in my sheet where I'm going to do the combining, in cell A1, I'm going to type equals VStack. VStack basically allows you to stack ranges on top of each other. Now, array one is going to be the Midland sheet. I can see that there, comma. Array two is going to be the Northern sheet. I can see that there. Array three is going to be the Scottish sheet. And I can see that there. And then lastly, I want to stack the Welsh sheet. Now, if I close the bracket and press enter, you can see that it combines all of those tables. Now I can even add the column headings. So I'm going to make array one, the column headings, which you can pick from any of the tables because it's the same column headings on each table. Put in a comma, press enter, and now I have the column headings. Now because each of these data sets are in tables, if I add a new record, say to the Midland branch, now, to make this quick, I won't add a complete record, just enough to show you that this works. Now, if I go back to my combined table sheet, can you see that that new record has automatically been included? Okay, so this table is actually in a completely different workbook. And what I want to do is copy it over to the original workbook and see if I can include it in that combined table. So I'm going to right click on this sheet tab. I'm going to go to move or copy. I want to create a copy and I want to move it to the book combined sheets and I'm going to move it to the end. Now that won't automatically get included in this combined sheet, but all I would need to do is go up here and type in the name I gave that table, which is SOU. And then that sheet's data will be included in this combined table. Now, if that's not quite automated enough for you, and you had many, many tables that it would take you ages to list here, say you had 50 tables, then you might want to use the next method. Now, with this method, your data doesn't have to be in tables. It could be in tables, but it doesn't have to be. Now, in the combined sheet, I'm going to use VStack again. And array one is actually going to refer to all of the sheets in the workbook. So I'm going to select the Midland sheet, hold down shift on my keyboard and select the Wales sheet, and then select the range of cells in each of those sheets that I want to stack. So I'm going to select A2 through to the last row being used on this sheet. And then I'm going to up the last row number which is currently row 15, to the maximum number of rows that I think I'll use in each of these sheets. So I'll then close the bracket and press enter. And you can see it does combine all the sheets together, but you have all these zero rows 
which are the blank rows in each of the sheets that are also being stacked in our combined sheet. Now to get rid of those zero rows, what I can do is use the filter function. So back to my original cell, my original formula, and I use filter, open bracket, and I want to filter this array that the vStack formula is returning. And the include argument is where I specify my filter, and this needs to be a logical test. Now what I'm going to do is actually copy that vStack formula and put it within the include argument. But I'm only going to refer to one column, column A. And my test is, does the value not equal zero? So does each value returned by the vStack formula not equal zero? So if I close the bracket and press enter, it now returns all of those records without those zero records being included. So if I then wanted to include the column headings, I would add another vStack to the beginning of my formula, referring to the column headings on one of the sheets. That would be array one, and array two would be the result of this filter function. So close the bracket, press enter, and now I have the column headings. So what would happen if we included another sheet in this workbook? So this is a different workbook and it only has the data for the southern region. Now what I want to do is copy this worksheet to the workbook with the other regions data. And to get my vStack formula to automatically pick up this new data. So I'm going to right click on the sheet tab. I'm going to go to move or copy. I want to copy it to the combined workbook. Now it's important to copy the sheet to the correct position in this workbook. Do not move it to the end of the workbook, otherwise this data won't be included in the combined worksheet. Always place it before the last worksheet. So it could be before Midlands, North and Scotland, but not after the last worksheet that you have there. I'm going to create a copy, click on OK. So you can see now that this workbook includes the Southern data. And if I go to the combined worksheet and scroll down, you can see that the Southern records have automatically been included. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.